Hello, this is the lecture number one for the chapter probability or for the class 10th and we are starting it today and first of all we discuss the basics of the probability then we will start with the exercise of your NCRT book. Now first topic is equally likely outcomes. Now what are equally likely uh, outcomes? Two or more outcomes are said to be equally likely if each outcome is as likely as to occur as the other. For example, when a coin is tossed, then the two possible outcome, head and tail, are equally likely. That is, uh, when we toss a coin uh, and a coin has the two faces, on one face uh, it has head and on the other face it has tail. When we tossed it, we will get either head or tail and the possibility of coming any of them is equal so they are called equally likely similarly another example when a die is thrown uh, the six possible outcome are on the die are one two three four five six they are equally likely because when you throw a die we get uh, any number out of one two through one two three four five six and the occurring on each of them is uh, equal so they are called equally likely but when we draw a ball from a bag containing two blue balls and four red balls suppose there are six balls two of which are blue and four are red then two outcomes a red ball and a blue ball are not equally likely because uh, it is more likely to obtain a red ball from the bag because there are more red balls than the blue ball in the bag. However, the outcome of drawing a ball of any color is equally likely uh, from the bag because uh, there are total six ball and we can take any ball out of that. So this is the example of equally likely outcomes and not equally likely outcomes not equally likely outcomes is if in a bag we have two blue balls and four red balls then taking out a red ball is more likely be uh, likely be more than the blue because there are more red balls than the blue ball now after that uh, the probability what is the probability probability of an event is written as capital P in the bracket it is E and it is defined as probability of E. E means event, the number of outcome favorable to E. That is favorable outcomes upon the number of all possible outcome in a random experiment. So probability of the event is number of uh, favorable outcomes divided by number of all possible outcome. Now elementary event, an event having only one outcome of an uh, X of the experiment is called an elementary event only one event if it is have the sum of all probabilities of all the elementary event of an experiment is one that is in a random experiment the probability uh, the sum of probability of all individual events is equal to one so this is the equally likely outcomes and the definition of probability and elementary events for any event e probability of e plus probability of e naught this is bar is known as e naught that is opposite to e equal to 1 where e naught state that for not e not getting e like this we can say and e and e naught are called the complementary event so the probability of sure event is 1 what is sure event you have done in lower classes sure event is that but is uh, surely will come for example, in a throw of a die, the probability of getting, yeah, the event of getting number less than 7 is sure because in a throw of a die, we'll surely get any number less than uh, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. The pro so the probability of that sure event is 1, 100% chances of getting a number less than 7 when a die is thrown. Now the probability of impossible event is zero. Why the probability of impossible event is zero? Because let, what are impossible events? Suppose a die is thrown, the probability of getting, the event of getting number greater than six is impossible event because we cannot get a number greater than six in a throw of a die. So its probability natural will be zero. 
Now for any event, the probability of any event is always greater than equal to 0 and less than equal to 1 less than equal to 1 means the maximum probability is only 1 and minimum is 0 and that is it cannot be more than 1 or cannot be uh, negative now after that we have our uh, term sample space now what is the sample space the maximum possible outcome in a random experiment is called a sample space the maximum possible outcome in a random experiment is known as the sample space for example when a coin is tossed only one times or a coin is tossed or a coin is tossed one times the possibilities is of getting head or tail there are two possible outcomes so this is the sample space when a coin is tossed once now sample space when two coins uh, is tossed once or one coin is tossed two times it means the same then the post total possibilities are head on both head on the first coin and tail on the second tail on the first and head on the second and tail on both the coins that is head 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 tail tail head tail tail are the maximum possible outcome when a coin is tossed two times or two coin is tossed one time similarly when a coin is tossed three times or three coins are tossed once then the possibilities are head on all three coins head on first two and tail on the third head on first and third and tail on second head on first tail on third and second coin or on all coins it is tail first two coins have ta uh, tail and third have head or tail had tail or tail had head there are eight possible outcomes similarly the sample space when a die is thrown once or rolled once will get either one two three four five or six Similarly, the sample space when a coin is uh, when a die is thrown twice or two dies are thrown once, then there will be 36 possibilities. For example, say it very carefully: 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 3, 1, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6, 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 4, 6. 5 1 5 2 5 3 5 4 5 5 5 6 6 1 6 2 6 3 6 4 6 5 6 6 and so on that is total 36 now what this 1 1 means it means that 1 on the first die as well as 1 on the second die 1 2 means 1 on the first and 2 on the second die and so on similarly suppose we are getting 2 3 so 2 3 means 2 a number 2 on the first die and number 3 on the second die and so on that there, there are total 36 probabilities when a die is thrown twice or two dies are rolled once now uh, let us uh, discuss about the cards in a pack of 52 cards total cards playing cards there are 26 red cards in it and 26 black if you don't know listen it very carefully there are four suits in it s u i t s suits four suits are heart diamond club and spade now heart and diamond are of red color and club and spade are of uh, black color heart is like this you know it diamond is like this club you know it and spade like this so these are four suits containing 13 cards in each and those 13 cards are King, Queen, Jack, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Ace. Not 1. It is Ace. Ikka. And uh, there are 12 face cards. Now face cards are King, Queen and Jack. 3 in each suits. Uh, suits. So uh, 3 into 4, 12. 12 face cards will be there. And 6 out of them, 6 of red face card and 6 are black uh, face cards. So these are some basics of the topic probability in which we have done the sample space, the probability of the event and uh, the elementary events and uh, the equally likely level events. Now you open your book and the exercise 15.1 in your book. Uh, first question is just uh, the simple uh, fill in the blank or true or false. Now. The probability of the event E plus the probability of event not E is naturally equal to 1. We have just discussed they are complementary event and the sum of their probability is equal to 1. Now probability of the event that cannot happen, that cannot happen is 0 
and it is known as impossible event thus i have given the example uh, just five minutes ago that uh, in a throw of a die the event of getting a number greater than six is an impossible event uh, and its probability is zero now the third is the probability of the event uh, that is certain to happen that is a sure event is one and it is known as a sure event the sum of all probability of all elementary events of an experiment is one i just uh, explained uh, just five minutes ago that the sum of all probability of the elementary event of an experiment is one now next is fifth the probability of an event is always greater than equal to zero and less than equal to one i've just explained to you uh, the probability of the event is greater than equal to zero and less than equal to one so like this uh, you can do the second and third question yourself. Now in question number four, some probabilities are given and you have to tell which probability is possible or not. In this, minus 1.5 cannot be the probability of any event because the probability of the event is always greater than equal to 0 and less than equal to 1. Clear? Now in question number five, the probability of E naught you have to find and the probability of E is given. The probability of E naught is equal to one minus probability of E. You know it. So one minus 0 0.05, the probability of the occurrence of the event is given as 0 0.05. Then the probability of not occurring of that event can be obtained by subtracting that from the one because the total probability of elementary event is equal to one. So the probability of E naught is one minus probability of E. Now in question number six, some uh, candies are there in a bag and uh, 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 lemon flavor candies and uh, all orange flavor candies. Now in the first part, the probability of the event is zero because you have to find the probability of getting the orange flavored candies uh, from the bag. It is zero because it contain only the lemon flavored candies. And the second part is the probability of getting the lemon flavored candies is equal to one because it is a sure event because the bag contain only the lemon flavored candies. So that is uh, all in this lecture up to question number six of the first exercise. We'll discuss the next questions in the next lecture. Thank you.